Hey there, I want to talk to you, anyone out there who is committed to increasing your empathy. When I was younger, I wanted to understand everything I could about people and how it makes people tick. And I really should have become a psychologist. Instead, I chose the next best thing, sales. In sales, you really have to get good at understanding people and their motivations. And I devoted a good part of my younger adult life in developing knowledge because I thought the more I had knowledge I developed, the more I could understand people. And then in my 30s, realized that really what I needed to develop was more wisdom. Uh, and well into my 30s and 40s, I dwelled into trying to understand how to have more wisdom. Lately in my 50s, I've come to realize that what we really need more of in this world is empathy. So it's become a life mission of mine and everything that I do, whether it's my blog, my speaking, to even in my design thinking work, uh, how to leverage empathy, how to become more empathetic as individuals and as companies. So um, in picking my top three choices for the shows that I like the most this past year on Dojo Live, it was difficult because we've had amazing guests and we've interviewed hundreds of people. But these three CEOs and companies really stood out for me for the same uh, reason that everything else stands out for me, which is people that are devoted to improving people's lives. And they're using self-awareness, they're using empathy to design products, to design organizational structures. And so here they are, my top three picks for 2021 was with Sam Brenner, who's the COO at BotsCast. We talked about uh, how a company's core purpose can impact users, viewers, and employees. The importance of having a core purpose. Yeah, let me answer it two ways. So the, the first way is uh, specifically the types of users that we get in. It runs the gamut and we've had to build the product so that it can apply to both. So there's the there are plenty of people that came to BoxCast that had either already used multiple streaming services before. They're probably like an advanced user. They might have uh, a high-end digital camera. They might have multiple switchers. Those are the those are the types of users that we want to say, great, you can use BoxCast, plug it into your existing workflow, see how easy it is and see how powerful it is, right? You'll like us for this reason, this reason, this reason, this reason. Then there's also a large amount of users who come to us and they say, I I just bought this like Canon Vixia. <laughs> like I've got this sort of low end camera or I, I have my iPhone or my iPad. Like, can I just go to my son's soccer game and go film that? And we say, yes. Right. The other show that I really liked was with Dave Landa, who's the CEO at Kintone. And the topic there was building trust and empowerment through inclusive corporate decision making and problem solving. I also had the pleasure of interviewing Dave on another uh, podcast, and we talked a great deal about how they've created a very inclusive and empowering culture. In fact, the board of directors of their company is partly, mostly actually all employees, 24 people, and who have a say in how things get done. So it's a, a great story about uh, leaders and companies that are adapting more empathy to be more empowering to people. So you have to check that out. Sure. Well, the, the reason I chose it is it's something that we actually try to do both internally at Kintone uh, within our organization on a, on a very persistent basis, um, but also try to encourage our clients uh, utilizing the Kintone platform to pursue these types of uh, systems of inclusion to build this type of trust and empowerment amongst their team members. We think that having an empowered um, and trusting you know, employee base creates a much greater, um, you know, happiness within an organization, but also a much greater productivity uh, amongst team members. And finally, I really love Deep Varma, who was the CTO at Vero Bank. I love what he had to say, which, you know, the first 10 years as an immigrant, he couldn't get any money. And then after he sold his businesses, he had more money than he knew what to do with. Everybody wanted to give him money. And he called that, that's a broken system. And you can feel the passion on how committed he is and his company is to improving people's lives. The show was, how can banks better meet the evolving needs 
of their customers. Everything is embedded within your phone. So nowadays, when we start our journey from A to B, we don't think about anything. What we think about, start the car, bing, 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 put it into my phone, destination A, destination B, someone telling me, take me to the point B. This is what technology is demanding. This is what the customers are demanding when it comes to the banking system. This is what they are saying, help me grow, help me understand what are the right things to do for me. And this is what, what we keep on, what we see in the marketplace is there are transactional relationship. What I mean by the transactional relationship, customers log into their app and they see my balance. Oh, this is my balance. So check out these three shows. If empathy is something that resonates with you, uh, or if you're interested in just getting to know what's going on, what technology trends are happening out there, these are great shows to watch. See you again in 2022. Dojo Live. Don't miss it.